Hello, welcome Libra to your January 2020 monthly reading. I am Amy from Cancerian House and I'm very happy to have you here with me. I'd like to go over my disclaimer for you real quick. As these are general readings, they will not resonate with every single Libra out there. So please take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else. Just means that those particular messages are not meant for you. If you are a Libra that finds that none of these messages resonate, they, that's okay. Please do check your moon, Venus, and rising sign for messages that may be more pertaining to you at this time. That being said, please understand that as these are general readings, that not all the information to your specific situation would be available, so you should never make life-altering decisions or decisions of any kind based on a general reading. If you are looking for information more pertaining to your specific situation, please do seek a private reading. Um, if you would like a private reading with me, please check the detail box below uh, for that information because at this time I am only giving you no readings. I do hope to open that up in the future. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, <clears throat> we have the Hermit. So the Hermit is a man who has gone out and he has gathered wisdom and knowledge and experience. And when he appears, it's an indication that the answers that you're seeking, the problem to the solution that you need, is within grasp, is within reach. That being said, it kind of indicates for you to step us, step back from the issue, the problem, whatever the matter is, and go within. Use your, your own knowledge, your own wisdom, and your own experience to examine all the counterparts of the issue to understand how they all work together. And at that point, you would be able to, once you understand it, how they all come together, then you would be able to find the answer or the solution to the issue or the problem that you're searching for because the answers that you need are within. You're not going to find them from an outside influence. So that is the overall energy of this read. At the heart of the matter, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And so the Wheel of Fortune is a card about good luck, the wheel turning in your favor, it's about success, it's about divine, the divine working in your life. So if this is like the, the hand of fate in your affairs, you can expect unexpected changes, a conflict of interest or idea ready to materialize, faded and beyond your control. Your to, it advises you to go with the flow. There may be temporary chaos, but it will bring you good fortune. What is crossing it is the sun. And the sun is an energy that is all about being warm and positive. It is positivity. It is all about getting back to the simple enjoyments of life. It's about being, you know, it's joy and clear truth, well deserved success. Also represents music or science or anything requiring sound reasoning and logic. It's where we have our initial sparks of creativity, our ideas, or where our plans are born. So in the distant past, we have the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands speaks to you know, success. It is, speaks to being um, recognized for public publicly for achievements and work put into a situation. It is a card of victory and success. Whatever you set your hand to will prosper. So, you know, in the distant, pa distant past, we have, you know, success. So there was a victory of some sort. 
So in the recent past, we have the lovers. And the lovers is all about, you know, two people coming together as one. And this doesn't have to necessarily be romantic love, although it can be. It can also speak to any type of love where two people have feel a strong connection. So this could be, you know, friendship, partnerships, business relationships. This could be, you know, parent-child, mother-father. <clears throat> this could be grandparents, aunts, uncles, anyone that, cousins, anyone that you have a truly wonderful um, connection with. It's a being in harmony and the feeling of passion for a person, a goal, or a dream. It's instincts and values and drive. It can be soulmate energy, and it can also represent twin love, twin loves, twin flames. So it's like a balance in love. But this card can also represent needing to make a choice about love. So some of you may be make considering or could have been making a decision regarding love, and this card asks you how you make that, those decisions. Do you make them with your head? Do you make them with your heart? Do you make decisions that make sense and are relevant to the situation or based out of fear from past situations? Crowning this is the world. So the world is all about completion, completion of goals, completion of cycles. It's having learned all the lessons that you can from a situation and integrating them. It's all about your accomplishments. It could also represent travel, looking outward, and seeing things as they are. Future influence coming towards you at this time, Libra, is the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is a energy, we like to refer to this card as a single ladies card, single ladies, single fellow single persons really um, card of the tarot and it represents being independent and abundant it is being a place of being financially capable it can also represent small indulgences so like maybe buying yourself a new car a new house a um you know a day at the spa it can represent all of those things this could be your energy or the person's energy that you have been dealing with so how you see yourself is the seven of pentacles and the seven of pentacles is all about divine timing and waiting it requires patience so when I um, think about the Seven of Pentacles, I like to compare it to a farmer who has planted his crops and is really excited to see what the harvest is going to be. So he's done all the hard work. He's done everything he can to ensure that his plants, his crops are going to grow. And unfortunately, he can't, <clears throat> he can't excuse me, do anymore. So now he has to wait and see what his harvest will be. As much as he would like to grow, you know, rush the growing process, he just cannot. So in this energy, it's, that's what it's saying, is that you've done everything that you could. There is nothing more that can be done here. Now is a period of time where you have to have patience and wait. So that is a really beautiful energy there. What is the outside influences? We have the devil. So the devil is a card about obsessions, addictions, and it can represent overindulgence. It is our self-imposed limitation. can also talk about our more carnal nature, and it can speak to toxic and um, unhealthy patterns or behaviors in relationships as well. Now with the devil, um, when I say overindulgences, it can be anything. It could be, you know, dr addictions, drinking, smoking, overeating, not eating enough, not getting enough sleep, you know, too much exercise, not enough exercise. It's anything that we do in excess that we really need to work on moderation for. 
It can also represent the zodiac sign of Capricorn. So you may be dealing with a Capricorn, although you that doesn't have to be. This can just represent the energy or the traits of someone. Okay, and your hopes and fears, you have the chariot. So the chariot is all about aligning opposing forces. Harnessing the energy is needed to bring those opposing forces together in the pursuit of a common goal to achieve it. It's also a card about fast forward movement. It's knowing where you want to go, and what you want to have, and quickly going after it. It's a fast energy. This can be a card of Cancer. So again, you may be dealing with a Capricorn or a Cancer. Take that as it resonates. You do not have to be. You could just speak again to the energy of the card. And that's in your hopes and fears. So I feel like there's something that you want to move forward to or so whoever you're dealing with wants to move things forward. The energy coming towards you at this time is the two of wands. So the two of wands is a very interesting energy. It is about, you know, pressing through, seeing through the blockage to what you want. It is all about making plans the start of an exciting business venture, partnerships, and planning. It can be the first steps of a long-term project. It can be the boldness and proudness. It could be it could represent worldly desires, asserting yourself and showing the world you are a force to be reckoned with. It can also represent you know, having made the plan, knowing what you want, knowing what you want to go after, and just not having implemented it yet. See, I, I, when I see the Two of Wands, I kind of think about the Two of Swords as well. The Two of Swords is being in that place where you're caught between two choices that seem appealing and not knowing which one to choose because maybe you don't have all the information available to you. So it represents, you know, indecision. But uh, for the Two of Wands... In the upright, it's more about having made that decision and now coming up with a plan to carry that out. So the other, you know, things about this card that we can look at is it, it could be, a, you know, exploration, discovery, future. Again, you know, we talked about future planning. It can be restlessness or ambition, risk, design, expectations, thrive, drive. Lust, curiosity, arrogance can represent so many things. But in this case, with what I'm seeing here on the board, it's really about having made a decision, making and now making the plan to carry that choice out. So now I would like to clarify a couple of these cards so we can get a better picture of the story that is unfolding between us. <clears throat> Why is the Wheel of Fortune here, please, Spirit? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yep, because judgment is also here. So judgment is all about making a final decision. It's, you know, calling in, making peace with the past, and letting it go. Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here for Libra, please, Spirit? Show me clearly and accurately. Why is the sun here? Why is this one here for Libra, please? We got the Three of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Three of Wands. So what I see with that is the Wheel of Fortune here is here, the Hand of Faith, the Divine, that's calling in final judgment on a situation. The, it's being blocked by the sun, and the sun is all about, you know, positivity, getting back to the simple joys in life. And what came out was the Three of Pentacles, which indicates wanting to work on something together as a team, putting in effort, putting in, you know, time and energy into something. It's waiting for that recognition for hard work already put into it. So it's like teamwork, collaboration, learning 
learning working on a project focus on health or on a new relationship from the past words or efforts so this could be wanting to fix something and you've gone within or the person that you're dealing with has to get the answers to the solutions to be able to bring this work forward because they're looking to the future but the wheel is here and the and judgment is being called on it so let's see why is the six of wands here yeah, there was conflict and somebody um, overcame that conflict and was it was um, got was you know successful and won the battle here. Interesting. And get a little bit more information. There was some truth that came out, some truthful communication because this page, the page of swords, is all about finding out answers, solutions to problems, and. Um, can you know really be curious she's an out-of-the-box thinker and really um very logical in her, in her methods but she's definitely about gathering truth so what i feel like is someone you know was watching the situation there was conflict involved and they get went out and they got the truth why is the lovers here we got the star which is having hope and faith bringing balance and healing and kind of focusing on, yeah, and the sun. Wow, we had the star and the sun with the lover. So this was a very strong connection. And the ten of cups. <clears throat> So yeah, that get even more solidifies what I was saying. The Ten of Cups is your complete emotional fulfillment. This is, you know, your having your happy home, happy family, happy life, happy wife. This is just being in complete emotional bliss. It represents your ideal family life, a safe, comfortable place to live, friends, family to share your life and joys, people with people to support you through times of sorrow. And it is, you know, um, a very wonderful energy to reside in, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's divine love, blissfulness, emotional fulfillment, harmony, happy, happy home, family, marriage, relationships, children, stability, and reunions. And these, with the sun and the star here, so you may be dealing with an Aquarius or a... Leo, because that's represented by the sun and Aquarius by the star, although you do not have to be. Please take that only if it resonates or means something to you. But the sun is about happy times, positivity, fun, warmth, innocence, simple pleasures, surprises, and wonder, new birth, success, and vitality. And the star is about guidance, illumination of a path. A period of waiting, a patience, moving on, hope, having faith, the divine purpose and renewal. So what I see here is there has been this really strong connection that is bring that brought you that emotional fulfillment of that of the Ten of Cups. And there has been a period where you've had to maybe take a break and more focus on the positive aspects <clears throat> of the relationship so that you can bring that hope and faith back in it and, <clears throat> excuse me, bring renewal to the situation. Let's see why the world is here. Because that is what your desired outcome is, is the world. Maybe you think this person is your whole entire world. Are they you? Why is the world here? Why is the world here? Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles. That is complete abundance. That's being in a place where you're financially abundant. We got the emperor as well with that. The, um, you know, this is happy home, happy family, happy life, happy in your job and career, financially stable. <clears throat> this is a beautiful energy. And we have the emperor. And the emperor is, is a, um, they could be dealing with an Aries. But this emperor is an energy about um, someone who is bold and assertive. They, this emperor is, you know, very is a man of vision. He knows what he wants. He knows how to get it. He knows how to build it. He is a symbol of power and leadership. He is strong. 
he is of self-conscious mind and he know, like I said, he knows what he wants. He knows how to get it. He knows how to build it. He's brave and bold and assertive and in control of himself and his environment. Now, this could be you, Libra, or this could be someone you are dealing with or your person. This could be the other half of the lover. Please don't take the sex of the card to, at face value. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. So it's very likely that this could be you, this could be him, this could be her. It, it does, like I said, it really speaks to the energy and the traits of the people. And why is this Nine of Pentacles here and the future influence? Yes, we got the Five of Swords, which indicates a energy of having been in battle and may have won it by less than honorable means. It's also about, you know, doing what's right for you or best for you without considering anybody else in the equation or how it may affect them. And we have the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Wands is about standing your ground. That they say is there's a blockage on your path forward to be strong and brave and confident. Now is the time to fight, not to ignore. There's too much at stake. So what I feel here is someone has been standing in their own power, their own abundancy, because they've been doing what they're what is right and they've been standing their ground. Again, this could be you or this could be them. What is the seven of pentacles? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Libra? Please, Spirit, show me clearly and accurately. Thank you. We've got the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands is all about <clears throat> communication, fast forward moving potential, being ready to spring into action, maintaining your focus, trusting your instincts, and it also can indicate getting news or information you've been waiting for or a quick un unexpected trip. So this could also be, you know, text messages, private messages coming through the airwaves. This could be travel. The person could be from a distance from you. And um, you could become um, some face-to-face -face communication. But I do, we did get the Ten of Swords as well. So that could be, that's an ending. It's a bit, you know, when we the Ten of Swords appear, it's all about um, having, you know, no certain terms that finally it's over. You cannot expect to change the situation. There's no fixing it except you're, you're beaten and move on towards a new path. So the, the Ten of Swords is a very harsh energy. It is, you know, have men stabbed in the back. So it's about, you know, betrayal death to an idea or to a dream, deep wounds, loss, crisis, a new path should be pursued. So what I see here is you've been patiently waiting because there's been no communication. There's been an end to communication resulting from the situation. Why is the devil here? We got the five of pentacles, which speaks to difficulty or loss. It is about being rejected and left out in the cold, This could, or the feeling of being rejected and left out in the cold, or having leaving somebody and rejecting them. It can Now, this can be difficulty and loss in a job, in a relationship, in a partnership. It can be you rejecting them, them rejecting you. This could be, you know, your energy or theirs. Yeah, I feel like it's a little bit here we got the nine of pentacles again again so that's standing in your own abundance and doing what's best for you being financially independent and doing well and not really needing this connection to thrive and I feel like that, like that's you and take the, again, take this as it resonates. You can feel free to switch the roles. But I feel like you stood your ground. You stood in your own power and in your own independence because you did what was best for you. There's been a period of waiting because you've done all that you could in this situation and you put an end to the communication. And this person has been feeling rejected and at a loss because you are standing in your own power. You're doing just fine 
without them. And um, they may have turned to some more toxic patterns in dealing with that. Again, that will not resonate for all of you, but for those who do, I just want to clarify that. And the chariot, please. Why is the chariot here? We got the Ace of Wands with that. So that's a passionate new beginning, a passionate new start. It's a spark of creativity. It is bringing... Um, It's bringing up new new beginnings, new creative ideas to the forefront. It is, um, and I love the energy of the Ace of Wands. It is just so refreshing. So, again, it's a, it's a path. It's you know new beginnings, new passions, new potential in career, in love, and in, in life, and friendships, and just about you know anything really. It's, it's a beautiful, yeah, it's just, it's a passion and new beginning. So what I feel like here, I wanted to double check to see if there was any additional information for this ace. But when I put the chariot and the ace, what I see here is, you know, again, this could be them. They want to move quickly towards you, Libra, and bring you a new passionate beginning. They want to have a new passionate beginning with you and renew this situation. For some of you, I feel like you're moving quickly towards maybe a you know spark of a new passion and beginning in a creative idea or endeavor. Doesn't necessarily always have to be towards a person. This very well could be towards a new project, new career, new you know new new change of pace. Why is the two of wands here? And some of you, this could be you moving towards them quickly with a new opportunity to rekindle this. Yeah, we have the King of Wands here. And let's see if we get any more. Two of Wands. Why else? Can I get more on this? Thank you. The Two of Swords. See, I, there's the Two of Wands and there's that Two of Swords I was talking about earlier. So it's being caught between, having been caught between two choices where both seem to appear, you know, appear to be, you know, very desirable, but not maybe having all the information to be able to make a choice. But here you've, you've made the decision, just haven't enacted it yet. Let's see if I can get one more on this. Two of Wands. Ah, I got two on that. All right, so what I have is the Eight of Cups and the Moon. So that's all about walking away from what does no longer serve us towards our emotional fulfillment, towards, you know, this Ten of Cups, this Ten of Pentacles. And, um, you know, the Moon is, speaks to our subconscious minds about being in a place where, you know, our fears, our worries, our concerns, our anxieties kind of live and breathe. The moon illuminates that and highlights that. But the moon also illuminates our intuition so that we know what um, what the difference is. You know, we have to discern the, what the difference is between them, between our fear, between our intuition. And the moon really speaks about separating the two and following your intuition and letting it lead us up to this through this path we may not be able to see where the our whole journey where it's leading us which is where our fears come in and create issues and problems but if we follow our intuition it's going to take us right out and back into the sun where it's warm and positive because this is our darker side where our darker side dwells the king of wands again you, you may be dealing with a fire sign take or not the king of wands is a energy of someone who is passionate he is friendly he is confident and energetic he's a natural leader he's full of charisma and fun he's motivating he likes to go he's not one to go with the flow he likes to set his own goals and make his own way towards them. He's charming, and he can charm anyone into almost anything. 
So if you've been dealing with that, I can see like, you know, with everything here, Libra, you know, with the 10 of cups, with the 10 of pentacles, with the lovers, I can see why this would be a difficult situation for some of you to make, you know, and about walking away and following a new path. And maybe you're being guided at this time because remember, we do have the Wheel of Fortune here and judgment is being called And this. Maybe we are right at a point where you know, you know you have to let it go. You have to walk away. And you've made that choice. You just haven't implemented it yet because you've been stuck hoping to see a different side of this. Remember that page is down here about getting the truth, the truth of the situation, going within and really examining how everything works. So if you haven't done that yet, may I suggest that you actually do that. You take a step back from the situation, examine it, use your knowledge, use your wisdom, use your experience from this relationship and understand how it all comes together, how it all breathes and works and lives together as one entity instead of separate pieces. And, um, you know, gather that information so you can see all angles and be able to make that decision. The decision I think you've pretty much already made, or again, this could be them, um, and implement it and, if, if you know, walk away towards you know, something new, something that's going to be better serving your purpose for your path because, you know, we can't dwell in our, in our uh, anxieties and fears forever. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Again, speaking of that, you know, overabundance, that being completely fulfilled and happy as the picket white fence and money in the bank and the wife and the children and the, you know, husband, family, dog, cat, <laughs> and we have the five of swords. Again, that is someone's doing what's best for them in regards to a commitment because there is a, you know, this, there's been this betrayal. There's been an end to the situation that's requiring, requiring strength. So there you have that. Wow. What a read. Libra. Like I said, this may not resonate for all of you, but for those that do, I really would like to hear in the comments if this is really it's what somebody is dealing with. So if this is like, you know, hitting it home for you resonating, please let me know because I'm really curious on this because I do see a really powerful connection here. And there's something that's transpired that has really got this off balance and, and you know we have the hermit as the overall energy which is that whole going with stepping away and going within to come up with the solutions and the problem to or the answers that you're seeking so i really would like to know okay so the goddess advice for you libra is cycles and rhythm mob honor the cycles of your body energy levels and emotions let see if you can see that. That's a beautiful card. And it comes with a beautiful, beautiful message. One second here to pull that up. <clears throat> the message is, all of life is critical, cynical. The moon, the stars, and the very universe. Life inhales and then exhales again. So why should you be surprised or upset that you too have cycles? There are times when you feel energized, awake, and alive. There are other times you feel isolated and shy. Your body too goes through pronounced cycles and changes. Celebrate these rhythms and embrace them as the essence of the lifeblood that courses through you. So there you have it. And we have the world here, which is a completion of a cycle. Wow. I'm going to grab a couple of romance angels on this before we send you on your way. What a wonderful read. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Can I get two more, please, for Libra? Angels. Can I get two more? Or Libra, please, to close this out. Thank you. 
romantic feelings. Your feelings are worth are real and worth exploring. One more, please. Oh, they gave us two more, and we'll take them both. Okay, and let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. And wedding. This situation involves marriage. So this could be you taking things that, remember that hair hydrophon was there, there was a commitment card. So this may, you know, bring you together in marriage. Some of you may already be married to this person, or some of you may be thinking about marriage. Please take that only as it resonates. Other of you, I feel like you're new. If you're walking away, you're going to need to get help from your friends. You're attracting um, people to you. And uh, you're some of you that are just starting up a romantic relationship, your feelings are worth, are real and worth exploring. So there you have it. That's all I have for you, Libra. I do appreciate you tuning in and sticking with me. I know this video went a little long. But I hope that it resonated with some of you. Please do, again, let me know in the comments. And that is it. Please remember to live in light and love. Namaste. Bye for now.